Mount Rushmore National Memorial in South Dakota features the carved faces of four iconic American presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. This massive sculpture carved into the Black Hills is an impressive feat of engineering and took over 14 years to complete. Work on Mount Rushmore began in 1927 and was led by sculptor Gutzon Borglum. He envisioned carving a monument into the granite rock faces of the Black Hills that would feature prominent figures from America's founding and growth. Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and Lincoln were chosen to represent the first 130 years of American history. The sheer scale of the project was enormous. Each carved face stands over 60 feet tall, and the entire project covers a total of 1,278 acres. Before carving could even begin, 450,000 short tons of rock had to be removed using dynamite to shape the mountain into a suitable carving surface. Once the initial blasting was complete, over 90% of the carving work was done using pneumatic drills. A crew of 400 workers climbed 700 stairs each day to reach the carving site and operate the drills. The most challenging aspect was precisely executing the intricate designs that brought the faces to life. Special attention was given to crafting realistic and recognizable facial expressions using subtle contours and shadows. Each president's facial details were meticulously modeled from historic photographs and portraits. The entire process involved carefully removing 2.5 million tons of granite using dynamite, jackhammers, and hand chisels. After 14 years of dangerous and backbreaking work, Mount Rushmore was declared complete on October 31, 1941. The monumental project showcased the power of ambition, engineering, and American ideals. Borglum passed away a few months after its completion, but his massive granite tribute to American leaders endures as one of the most iconic symbols of the United States. Mount Rushmore stands as a lasting testament to the skill and determination required to carve a lofty national vision into the rugged landscape.